Hey, this is Marcus Washington, ETC Media here at Foggy Bottom as George Washington defeated Coppin State 83 to 71. Well, we anticipated this sort of scoring battle between Sam Sessoms and James Bishop, and it really got started in the second half once Sessoms uh, got started. Uh, Sessoms went in with 23, but Bishop bested them with, with 30 points. And, um, and Maximus Edwards came off the bench today uh, for GW with 16 points and 12 rebounds. More importantly, five offensive rebounds as he commented after the game along with um, Coach Caputo that Maximus was asked to get on the boards, use his athleticism, but also be able to get back. And, and he did that today also for uh, George Washington, Ricky Leno Jr., 14 and 11. Brendan Adams had 13. Coppin State really, really mucked it up in the first half. GW had 11 first half turnovers. I don't know if they felt like they were playing too fast for themselves, even though both teams really want to play fast. But Coppin's pace is off the charts when it comes to um, advanced metrics on how fast they they actually play. And GW just kind of looked out of whack. And it, it caused the game to be close in the first half. It's 34-32 Colonials. At, at halftime, but in the second half, you saw George Washington play at a pace that was fast, but fast and comfortable. And and that showed in their shooting in the second half, they shot 51 and a half percent, despite the fact that for the game, over half their shot attempts were three pointers, which is quite a bit. Uh, as far as Coppin State, they shot over 50% in both halves. And um, Coach Caputo after the game did speak about uh, defensive maturity. This is a young team in certain areas. He he lamented the fact that they don't uh, guard particularly well and that this is an issue and it's a known issue that they're working on every day in practice. But despite the win, giving up over 50% uh, shooting from the field in both halves, it's, it's kind of daunting, especially when you consider um, how quickly A-10 conference play is becoming. But for GW, it was, hey, bounce back um, after a loss with AU, and they did such against Coppin State, a team that's so well, so well tested. They travel everywhere to get by games. They play a wicked schedule, and I think at times that schedule does wear them down because it's so much travel. Guys are playing so many minutes, and that's where you see that uneven thing where they have a good half or a good 25, 30 minutes, and then – it just kind of wanes, you know, and they look tired and they probably do things that they didn't do um, previously in that particular game. And and it's because of that. But Juan Dixon has said several times they're in a one big league, one bid league. He knows that they play these games to get ready for the conference season. And certainly Coppin has done a great job again here. Foggy Bottom GW with a victory. 83-71. Smarks Washington from MTC Media.